Hi everybody, uh, this is Amelia Margaret, and I have my, my Peyton hat on today because today we're going to talk about um, my dream horses. They're actually, they're, they're done with Sharpies, so I guess I can call this my artist hat. Um, I chose my six best horses to share with everybody today. Um, the whole idea behind Dream Horses is that one day I will be able to sell my Dream Horse sketches to open a um, sort of like a farm uh, to rescue horses. Um, so these are my Dream Horses, the ones that will be on the farm. Um, this one is Gary. Um, he looks like he's had a rough life. Um, he's a uh, he's he's a horse, um, not to be confused with a colt or a mare. Um, I guess he's a pretty normal horse. I feel like this this white spot right here. Right here. Spot. Um. The next horse that I have is uh, Joseph P. Coltingham. Um, you can see by the lines under his eyes that he has also had a rough life. Um, he looks like he may have had a drug problem. Um, Joseph P. Coltingham is actually the son of Gary. Um, you might be asking why Gary isn't Gary Coltingham, and that's because he's actually the adopted son of Gary. Um, much like the plot of Curly Sue, where Jim Belushi adopts Curly Sue, um, it's kind of like that. Um, so they haven't, he hasn't known Joseph P. Coltingham since birth, but Gary is like his, his closest bud. Um, this one's Mayor Winningham. Um, she's all white. She's got beady little eyes, like that actress. Um, she's so far she's the only girl horse that I have on the farm. Mayor Winningham. Okay. Um, so the next one that I have is Benicio del Horso. Um, he's got a little bit of stubble, which you can see, a little bit of stubble there too. Um, you might notice that all of these horses have tiny little bodies. Um, I guess that's kind of coming from one of my major influences, which is the, um, the folders with animals that have tiny little bodies and gigantic heads. Um, Th those are really cute, and I like them, so I thought I would integrate them into my into my art and into my heart. Um, this one also shows one of my major influences, which would be Lisa Frank. Uh, this is Frank and Horse. Um, as you can see, she's multicolored. Um, she has a bow in her hair. I guess this would be the second female horse. If yeah, so this is the second horse. Um, that's a girl. Um, it's Franken horse. Uh, she's got a bow in her hair. You can tell that she's really confident. Um, she doesn't know she's a freak with with a shrunken body. She she thinks she's a normal horse, and she thinks that the colors are very inviting and nice. She doesn't know. I mean, which I mean, if you're gonna be a freak horse. What, why would you want to know that you're... Okay. Uh, this is my last one. Um, this is actually inspired by a license plate that I saw, um, which said, Go USA number one. Um, this is... So this is the horse. Go USA number one. Um, he has a full body. Uh, because I think it's good to have a horse 
on the farm that all the other horses can look up to. Um, he's very spirited. Um, he's got he's got freakish colors like Franken horse, but they're red, white, and blue. So I mean, it, it's good freakish. Um, those are colors that you can be proud of. The red, white, and blue. Um, I like his face. He's got a good face on him. So yeah, those are my dream horses. Um, hopefully one day I'll collect enough artwork that I can sell them um, and start my own my own farm of freak dream horses um, with the one non-freak horse that will inspire all the other horses to be good. So yeah, this is Amelia Margaret. Everybody have a wonderful evening.